Hey, you weirdos. Welcome back. As you can see, I have chopped my nails. <laughs> if you missed the um, builder gel video that I did, I'll leave that up in the cards for you guys. That's all I have on my nails right now. On my left hand is just builder gel. And I'm going to do a little peel base action. My right hand is my couple of colors from my collab collection with Shimmer and Shine. I'll leave that in the cards for you too. Today, I'm going to be playing a little bit with Starby's dip powder this is a company i never heard of before until she reached out to me and i was super excited when she did because after learning a little bit about her company what she does and all the amazing charities that she participates with i was super excited she sent over the november sub bag she does have subscription bags and they're all themed this one happens to be game of thrones theme and y'all <laughs> I, I was a diehard GOT fan. I loved that series so damn much with my whole entire heart. So when I saw that's what it was, I'm like, this was meant to be. This was kismet. That's just a perfect, perfect, perfect timing. So the sub bag comes with a bunch of stuff. I'll go through that with you here in just a bit. Comes with a couple of colors. She threw in such cute little details, the little bitty file and the buffing block and there's a cuticle oil in here. Just so darn adorable and wait till you see the colors. And the way this Manny came out, unbelievable. But that's not my favorite part. <laughs> of course it's not. Why would I do anything simple? My favorite part is that every sub bag that she does, which is monthly, and um, I'll link everything in the box for you guys to her Etsy page where you can find all this stuff along with a discount code for you guys. But the sub bags, the monthly sub bags, 10% of the proceeds are donated to a charity. And she changes it up every month. For the month of November, this sub bag right here, 10% of the proceeds are being donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. And I just, I'm getting emotional. Y'all, these owners make me want to just emote out of every orifice of my body. <laughs> I, you guys probably know by now, if you don't, I'm going to tell you that the pay it forward and the giving back are just some of the things that I'm super passionate about, especially in this community. There are so many women and dudes that do so much good work, not just within the community, but on, on such a, a larger scale. And even though it's a small company, and I'm sure she's not donating millions of dollars to these charities, every single teeny tiny little bit helps, even if it's nothing more than raising awareness for these causes. Because I feel like the more you can put it out there, word of mouth, just something, the more exposure these organizations get and the more likely they are to receive assistance, which I believe wholeheartedly in and I am absolutely 100% stoked to tell you guys about it. I cannot wait, cannot wait. And you know what? Um, I'm also a big fan of quality products in case you guys haven't known. <laughs> so, I mean, while it's great to put together an adorable little bag with an adorable little theme and donate to such an amazing cause, the products have to be good, right? Because if the products are not good, all that other stuff kind of falls by the wayside. It doesn't even matter. But I texted her as soon as I was done with this Manny and I'm like, girl, <laughs> okay especially for a small teeny tiny and she's bitty she is a bitty bitty little etsy company i was super impressed with the quality of these products absolutely super impressed i didn't use all of them I, I don't think i could have with the collection i mean it's a very diverse little sub bag that she puts together there are a bunch of different ways you could have gone with this uh so i only used the two colors but they were super impressive the texture of the powders was so soft and powdery not cakey at all the perfect amount of shimmer the glitter was beautiful you're gonna see me do the chunky glitter here in a little bit which you know i'm like weird about but this one came out beautiful and it's so well coordinated and i love 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 that i love the coordinated colors because <laughs> i don't know if you guys have ever received a collection or a subscription bag before from any company wherever and you're like, how am I going to make this all work together? Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so not the case here. She coordinated these absolutely beautifully. Um, I'm going to let you guys watch for just a bit. 
I'm gonna link everything down below like I mentioned so definitely check that out sub bag signups um, I think are still going right now for the December subscription bag and from what she tells me she does any, any sub bags that she doesn't sell she will put up on the Etsy page and you can buy after the fact so it is a first come first serve but if you miss out on the sub bag for November you may still be able to find it at her Etsy shop so check it out I'm gonna let you guys watch and I'll be back in just a bit of that gorgeous it's like a it's like a wine color if you will which is so perfect because it's called i drink wine and i know things and if you guys watch game of thrones you know exactly what that's from <laughs> um for me like i said i'm a huge got fan and Tyrion was absolutely hands down my favorite character i typically would refer to him as my boyfriend <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that or if you think I'm a total weirdo, but I, I felt a connection to Tyrion. Uh, he did a lot of questionable things on that show. Oodles and oodles. But at the end of the day, he was just such a kick-ass little dude. And you know what I mean by that, if you watch the show. <laughs> and it could also relate to his famous quote, which is something I say all the time. I drink wine and I know things. Kind of encompasses me as a human. <laughs> Or at least I, I like to think so. Um, let me know down in the comments if you watched GOT and who your favorite characters were. Um, I'm so sad that it ended. And I know that the ending of that show was uh, disappointing to a lot of people as season fina or series finales tend to be. For me personally, I was a tremendous fan of how it ended. Although it did leave me with a lot of questions, which often sucks. And I'm sure that's why there was a lot of disappointment. But... I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I had all the feels. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> Speaking of series, is, 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 um, if you're not in my Facebook group or if you are new to my Facebook group, which is linked in the box for you guys in case you want to hop over, I did throw a post up a while ago. One of my mods, uh, Nelia, uh, you guys may know her as a Sposa de Jonathan, she brought to my attention that Dexter is returning I know pause for reaction I can't believe it I can't believe it if you guys have known me for a while you know how I feel about Dexter Dexter is my dude if I had to choose between Dexter and Tyrion I honestly don't know what I would do <laughs> I would clone myself that's probably what I would do but Dexter is coming back he is coming back on Showtime next fall which I, I couldn't believe they were telling me this you know, a year beforehand, because I don't know, I'm excited. I'm super excited and I can't wait to watch it, but I gotta wait a whole year. I don't have a kind of patience. Tell me a year ahead of time. I was gonna be sitting here thinking about it for the next 360, however many days. <laughs> anyway, are you guys Dexter fans? I know a lot of you are Dexter fans. Let me know down below. As you can see, um, the glitter is absolutely stunning. I wait till you guys see it top coated, blow, my mind a little bit will ya because this glitter is so super stunning stun city car alarm 
That figures. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. Someone's car alarm's going off. This is why, again, I don't do voiceovers during the day. <laughs> car alarms go off, I suppose, during the afternoon. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead. I finished up my clear cap. Uh, I will be doing some more experimentation with the capping in gel base and gel top as opposed to clear. Although I make these crazy, you know, I, it's not my discovery. I, someone else discovered it, it wasn't me, but I figure it out and I'm like, well, shoot, I have so much clear acrylic. <laughs> what am I gonna do with all this? Do not say make your own dips. That is not happening. <laughs> I, I'm so happy that I was able to collab with Shimmer and Shine on that collection, but I leave the mixology and the actual creating of the stuffs to her. I'm not that girl. Have I done it? Yes. And I'll leave a video up in the cards for you in case you are curious about making your own dip powder slash acrylic. It'll be up there on the cards. Um, but I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> I have a million and a half things I'm doing and no, it's just, that's not happening. I'm sorry. I know you guys have been asking me about it forever. Uh, not anytime in the near future. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get my filing and my e-filing done. Same exact filing routine that I've been using for what feels like forever now. Um, I'm going to leave the two-in-one dust collector slash e-file down in the box. It is the new love of my life. I don't know where I've been without it for the last two years. It is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And there's a discount code for it. I'll leave it all in the thing with the stuff. You know where it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys... Watch me get my file on. I know you like to zone out and have your little zen moment while I do this. I'll put the music on, let you guys relax, and I'll be back with...
I went ahead, I did all my filing, e-filing, buffing, the whole thing, cleaned off my nails with a dust brush and with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure I have no dust particles on my nails whatsoever before top coat. I am using my Poochie's Nails No Cleanse Gel Top Coat. You could, of course, go in with, you know, another layer or coat or whatever of activator and do your dip top coat like you normally would if that's your jam. I'm a gel polish kind of girl. If you're new to my channel and <laughs> you don't know that, hi, I'm Marla Chris. I'm surprised you made it this far and thank you for hanging around. Um, I'm not a pro, I'm not a tech. I'm just a DIYer, been doing my nails for a couple of years now and I just like to share some of the stuff that I learn or find with y'all that I think you may find interesting or worthwhile. If you like this kind of content, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It actually really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm nonsense. And if you feel like sticking around for more stuff, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. If not, that's fine. No hard feelings. I can absolutely appreciate not wanting to commit to something like this. <laughs> not that you can't unsubscribe should you feel like you don't want to be anymore, but I, I definitely have that same kind of, I'm going to stalk your YouTube channel for a while before I decide on whether or not I actually want to be here for the long haul. So I understand. I get it. You may have commitment issues, but uh, who am I to judge? This is the final look. I don't know what is wrong with me. That rant was for no reason. Um, I absolutely love these colors. I think the bag is so darn cute. I so wholeheartedly support this company and all small businesses that maintain this kind of mentality. It's just something that I believe in, something I think you guys probably believe in too. So absolutely, absolutely check her out. I'm going in with my favorite K Skincare Cuticle Oil, True to Form. This particular oil happens to be in like my top three faves ever. It's called Fierce. I've talked about it before, but in case you're new here and you haven't heard about it, Fierce smells exactly like Abercrombie and Fitch cologne or like the Bath and Body Works candles, mahogany antique wood. I swear to you on all that is holy, she nailed this fragrance to a T. When I reached out to her, <laughs> poor CJ, and I was like, I need stuff to smell like this. She was like, ugh, Marla. <laughs> but she did it and I love it to pieces with my whole entire heart. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. And just so you guys know, I so appreciate you being here. Thank you for hanging out and watching yet another one of my nonsense videos. I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.